the Child and Brain Development Program has been around for, I guess, 15 years. And it started by asking the simple question of why is there a negative relationship between SES, socioeconomic status, and almost everything you measure to do with health, literacy, etc. So I think the Child Brain Development Program is in a critical period of its development. And so we've gone through this very foundational work of perhaps its childhood. We've established some core principles around how early adversity gets under the skin, gene environment interplay, how development works. And now we're at this exciting new time in a resource rich environment full of new tools to study child development, some new ideas and new disciplines joining us kind of on the on the verge of some, some interesting discoveries. And the other thing that our group is moving into as we turn the corner is the adolescent period and whether adolescence is another sensitive stage. So it's not just a group of psychologists coming together, a group of pediatricians coming together. We have fly geneticists. We have people who work in machine learning. We have anthropologists coming into the room, bringing, each bringing their own perspective and their own science. It's the ideas that draws everyone and the opportunity to work together um, to, uh, on the most challenging questions that, that we have. I think it's affected the way uh, education, um, in terms of full day kindergarten, that, how that changed in Ontario, for instance, and all over the world, is because of this kind of, of research. There are constantly going to be questions around science of child development. And CIFAR has played an instrumental role over the last 15 years in supporting that science. And looking to the future looks like a wonderful place to continue to generate that science, to continue to develop leadership and, and, um, and lead in this area.